Hi, in this video let's discuss few multiple choice questions in microbiology. So starting with the first question, the predominant immunoglobulin in saliva, IgA, IgD, IgE and IgG. So we have four types of immunoglobulins chiefly and the major serum immunoglobulin present is IgG which accounts for 80%. So IgG is a major serum immunoglobulin which accounts for around 80% of all immunoglobulins. However, the predominant immunoglobulin in saliva it's IgA. So IgA is a predominant immunoglobulin present in saliva. It exists in two forms. But before that, the concentration of IgA in serum is around 10 to 13 percent of all immunoglobulins present. And this IgA exists in two forms. One is secretory and the other is serum. So we have secretory IgA and serum IgA and this secretory IgA is produced by plasma cells which are lining the mucosal as well as glandular epithelium and any immunoglobulin is synthesized by plasma cell and within plasma cell endoplasmic reticulum is the area or the organelle where the immunoglobulin synthesis happens again that's an important multiple choice question so within plasma cell endoplasmic reticulum is the organelle where the synthesis of immunoglobulin occurs and now moving on to the next question the immunoglobulin crossing placenta so we have IgM IgA IgG and IgD so as previously discussed IgG is the major serum immunoglobulin and IgG is the only maternal immunoglobulin which crosses placenta and provides natural passive immunity to child. So that's very important. Natural passive immunity to newborn is obtained from maternal immunoglobulin namely IgG. So the immunoglobulin crossing the placenta and providing natural passive immunity to newborn is IgG. Right? And now let's move on to the next question. Which of the following immunoglobulins has highest mean serum concentration in humans? So as discussed previously, IgG accounts for 80% of all immunoglobulins present in serum. So it is IgG. And if we look at the concentrations of other immunoglobulins, IgA it's 10 to 13 percent, whereas IgM it's around 5 to 8 percent, whereas IgE and IgD account for 1 percent. So that's important, right? So the overall concentration of IgG is 80%, IgM is 5 to 8%, IgA is 10 to 13%, and IgE and IgD are 1% respectively. And within this IgG, there are four subclasses that is IgG1, IgG2, 3, and 4. And the concentration of IgG1 is around 65%. For 2 it is 23%, 3 it is approximately 8% and IgG4 it is approximately 4%. So these are the mean serum concentrations of various immunoglobulins. Right? And now moving on to the final question. In patients with asthma due to allergic cause, the serum levels of which immunoglobulin increases? So whether it's an anaphylactic reaction or it can be any allergic manifestation, usually IgE 
is the only immunoglobulin which is associated with these kinds of reactions that can be either an anaphylactic reaction or any allergic manifestations such as hay fever or eczema or even asthma and even studies have shown that IgE is associated with certain parasitic infections so in patients with asthma due to allergic cause the serum levels of IgE increase right that's very important so to summarize so these are few model questions which were asked in various previous entrances you can see them here in the brackets right and of all the immunoglobulins IgG is the major serum immunoglobulin accounting for around 80 percent of total serum concentration and within this IgG we have four subclasses with their corresponding concentrations in percentages and then we can see the concentrations of various other immunoglobulins and IgA is predominantly present in saliva it has uh, two parts like it is available either in secretory form or in serum IgA form and they are synthesized by plasma cells and any immunoglobulin synthesized by plasma cell within the endoplasmic reticulum that's very important right and then the only known immunoglobulin which crosses placenta and provides natural passive immunity to child is IgG so in the subsequent videos let's discuss a few more multiple choice questions and the corresponding notes so that it will be easier for you to correlate and to remember various important points pertaining to this particular topic right thank you